Hello, my friend, and welcome to a Technical Tuesday. Today, we're going to break down this chicken into bone-in chicken pieces. I'm Chef Flance. I'm a professional chef, baker, and culinary school instructor, and let's do this thing. All right, let's get to this thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is reach in and see what we got in the cavity, and uh, there is a chicken leg. <laughs> That is it. We're going to save that for stock. Uh, there's no other giblets or anything in the industry. That's called a WOG, uh, W-O-G, without giblets. So um, anyway, that's what this is. Now, I've rinsed and dried this bird. There is um, a debate in culinary land that uh, whether to rinse a chicken or not, uh, if you ask 10 different chefs, you'll get 13 different answers. So I prefer to rinse my friend, Chef Brian uh doesn't so anyway that's up to you i think it gets rid of bacteria but that's just me all right so let's start i'm going to do bone in i'm going to first start by trimming this excess skin off and a little what's called the pope's nose i don't know for some reason i it probably okay to cook it i just uh Never felt good about it. Anyway, that's just me, though. That's my little thing. So what we're going to start out with, you want to use the bird's weight uh, to assist you uh, using the gravity of its weight. And you can see here, though, uh, all the fat in a chicken or all poultry, actually, is underneath the skin, not in the meat itself. And here is a line on both sides of chicken fat. That gives us some really clear areas where we can cut. So I'm going to lift this up. Stretch that skin out, and I'm going to give a cut right there to separate the skin and create my first uh, separation from the breast itself. And again, on this side, you can see that line right there. And I'm going to come down. Now, we're going to try to preserve as much skin as possible for the breast meat itself. Now, look, at this point, uh, it's only connected by uh, the vertebrae here. So I'm going to snap that. And then I'm going to separate that. So now I've got the crown, the breast crown here, and this is the bottom half. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slice it right down the backbone. Now I've got a leg quarter, bone in leg quarter. However, uh, my wife and I disagree on the dark meat. I like the thigh. She likes the leg. So I'm going to go ahead and separate that. And again, you see we have this line here. I'm going to use that to guide me and then find that joint and then slice right between the joint. I'm not slicing through bone. And there's one leg and there's the corresponding thigh. Let me do this again. There's the other leg and its corresponding thigh. Okay. So now let's just set those there. Get my towel real quick and do a quick wipe up here. I always want to keep a clean work surface. I'm just going to wipe that up. Dump that in the trash. Okay. Now, let's go to the crown. We're going to take off the wings. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the tips right now, but we will take those off and we'll save that for stock. But in the meantime, we're going to come over here. So the wing is attached at that joint right there. And there is a little bit of meat that goes along with that uh, that some people think is part of the, the breast, but they're very closely related right here. So what I like to do is to come in with my knife and work around and see again, you see this uh, kind of a line created by the fat there. But I, I'm also looking here at that little hump. I'm going to carve just around that. Separate that off. Then while I have it in my hand, I'm going to separate the, uh, the tip. The tip we will uh, put into stock. And then we have a wing. Okay, again over here. I'm going to pull it. That's where I'm going to go. You want to have your knife sharpened. You know, it's so much easier to work with a sharp knife. A dull knife is actually a dangerous knife. So that comes right through. Perfect. And then now we're going to uh, 
we're going to cut that and go right there. Now we have our second wing. Beautiful. Again, I'm going to take a moment, wipe this up. Now, how to handle the breast. We want the bone in, and we'll trim that excess skin later. But now we've got the rib cage and the uh, backbone connected here. And this is a very thin layer of rib meat. So we're going to come in right here, and we're going to, let me turn it where you can see it. We're going to come down, straight down to the bottom. Uh, trying to cut through that neck there we go boom again back that stock never throw that away by the way i've got a uh a video out on how to make chicken stock from your scraps so go check that out so while i've got this thing together i'm going to do some trimming make it a little purtier purdy baby we're making it purdy don't throw that skin away, by the way. You can uh, chop that up in a really fine dice and render that on the stove and get your schmaltz, which is chicken fat. And you'll also come out with some pretty good chicken crackers. So right now you can see that on the back with the, uh, we have the, the breastbone here. This is really mostly cartilage, uh, sometimes called the keel bone, K-E-E-L. And that's what's connecting the two breast uh, pieces of breast meat together. So I'm gonna come down with my uh, chef's knife. I'm going to start out placing it in. This is very soft. Then I'm going to come over and, and as I move down, push, put some weight on that blade and it pushes right through that cartilage. And then we end up with bone in chicken breast. So now we've got two, four, six, eight pieces. We got stuff for stock and it's just that quick. I move slow to talk, but there you go. Thank you for joining me on this Technical Tuesday. And remember this, a day in the kitchen beats a day of working any day.